Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain to you how to do uh, your quest efficiently. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you how I do it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best way. Uh, there are other ways to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So first of all here, they asked me 17 wire masks uh, of normal quality and plus. So this is important that it has to be normal quality and plus. Uh, what I used to do basically, this is where I put my armor, you know, my apparel and armor and everything. Because this is a starting base, by the way, so I did not uh, I did not have time to divide uh, the apparels, you know, the armors and the weapons and everything. So basically, if I assign someone to crafting over here, he's gonna bring all the um, the uh, arm the the mask over here, and it's gonna be like a little bit everywhere. So I don't like that. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply them to over here. Mask, there it is. So war mask is over here. So I'm gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna go remove war mask. So basically, uh, whenever somebody craft a war mask, they're not gonna bring it over here. They're gonna bring it over here instead and now you're gonna say why do i do this because well it's faster see so over here is faster if they uh, bring it over here instead of over there and the secondary here is there is nothing over here so player so basically i'm going to wire mask over here so only wire mask will be allowed over here and nothing else so here okay so basically then what i'm going to go over here go over here wire mask boom gonna put it in first position of course uh and it says how many do i need 17 okay so Two until you have 17 like this all right then you go to detail uh, see uh, any quality is not good I don't want any equality I want um, normal so it has to be normal all right so this is important because if you don't put it like if you put it like this they can do poor quality and it's not gonna work it's not gonna be com confirmed one time what I did is I left it this way and uh, I had like my 17 war mask but in there there was two of them that was poor quality so by the time that I came back and, uh, and you know and I was ready to go uh, send the war mask to, to uh, you know to them I was about to go trade I now realized that I was missing two war masks of normal quality because two of them was poor quality which is why you need to make sure that when you do your war mask that it is uh, assigned to normal quality and higher that's very important uh, Take the best pile, that's good. Allow crafting skill. I will highly recommend you bump this this up to at least five. But the thing is, if I go to my worker, who am I going to apply? So you got to make sure you have somebody who has, uh, you know, good crafting skill. I would say this guy. So I'm going to apply this guy to crafting. Uh, I could put two people, but I think him alone would be sufficient. Because I have eight days. You have to, you have to look how many days you have left. So I have eight days, so I should be enough. Uh, personally but you can apply uh, I mean you can assign two person if you want to but me I'm gonna play uh, assign just him because I need the other people to do other things which is super important but I uh, will see if uh, if let's say I look and there's two days left and I, I'm missing too many uh, war masks then I'm gonna you know I'm gonna assign somebody like ASAP in order to uh, complement the missing war mask you know what I'm saying so yeah guys so that's how I do it for um, that's how I do my quest faster and more efficiently. So you have to take all that in consideration. And when it's done, you got to calculate, you know, like normal, normal. You have to see if they're normal, excellent, everything. Um, and that's it. That's how I do it. So let me know if you guys found it useful. If you do, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Cheers.